decimals. So comparing means that I'm going to look at two decimals and I am going to uh, compare them by saying one is greater or one is less or that they are both equal to each other. Okay, I'm showing their value compared to each other. So we are going to start, we're going to jump right in with um, some comparing decimals. I am going to start with something that you uh, learned in third grade and let's compare um, just some numbers. So if I gave you the number 25 and 15, okay, and I said compare these two numbers, you would start in your tens place and you would say, well, in 25 I have two tens and in 15 I only have one ten and I know that two tens is greater than one ten so 25 is greater than 15. Okay, if I gave you the numbers 25 and 27. Remember you start in your greatest place value which is the tens place for these numbers and I would say, well, in the number 25, I have two tens. And in the number 27, I have two tens. So they are equal in the tens place. Okay, but I have to go look at their next place value, which is the ones place. So I uh, kind of just tell my kids to cross it off when you're comparing so that, you know, you've already looked at that place value. Now I'm going to the next place value. And the next place value is my ones. In the number 25, I have five ones. And in the number 27, I have seven ones. And I know that the tens place was equal. So now it's down to the ones place to show me which one is greater. And I know that seven is greater than five. So I can say 25 is less than 27. Okay? We're gonna use the same process and the same principles to help us compare decimals. We are always going to start in our greatest place value and we are going to work our way down to our least place value to compare numbers, okay? So let's start with our first example. The greatest place value you see is your one's place value. Now you can see that in both of these numbers they have a zero in the one's place. So I'm going to cross off that place value and I'm going to go to my next place value. My next place value is my tenths, my tenths place value. And in the number two tenths, I have two tenths. And in the number eight tenths, I have eight tenths. So I can see that eight tenths is greater than two tenths. So I would read this as two tenths is less than eight tenths. Okay? I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to start with my greatest place value, which is my ones. And I can see that they are both the same digit. So that's not going to help me compare my numbers. Now I'm going to go to my next place value, which is my tenths place value. Just like I did up here with this example. In this number, I can see that I have a seven in the tenths place and a six in this tenths place. And you might be saying, well, hang on, 65 is greater than seven. You are correct. 65 is greater, whoops, than seven. However, we are not comparing the number 65 and the number seven. We are comparing the number 65 hundredths with 7 tenths. How do I compare them if they're not in the same place value? What does this number have in the hundredths place? If it doesn't tell me, this number has a zero in the hundredths place. Okay? So does that help you see how 7 tenths is greater than 65 hundredths because if I change 7 tenths to show its hundredths place I can see that this is 70 hundredths 
and this is 65 hundredths. So that's why it's really important for you to take it one place value at a time. Don't jump ahead of yourself and look at the whole number because you will get very confused, okay? You need to take it one place value at a time. So I was in my tenths place. Seven is greater than six, okay? Let's look at our next example. Start with my greatest place value, which is my ones place. They both have a zero in the ones place, so that does not help me. I go to my tenths place. Okay, and I can see in my tenths place they both have a two. So I'm not going to be able to use that place value to help me. So I go to my next place value, which this number isn't showing me the hundredths place value. So I know that there is a zero there. I look at this hundredths, and there is also a zero in the hundredths place. So I can say that these numbers are equal to each other. Two tenths is equal to 20 hundredths. All right? My next example, again, I'm going to start in my greatest place value, which is my ones place. They are both a zero. Go to my tenths place. I can see they're both a 4, so I need to go to my hundredths place, and now I see a 1 and a 3. One hundredth, three hundredths. Which one is greater? Three hundredths is greater. So I can say 41 hundredths is less than 43 hundredths. All right, my next example, starting in my ones place, they are both zeros, so I go to my tenths place. Okay, remember, don't get confused. Don't look at this as 25 and 52. I'm going to start, I'm going to stay in my place value. I have a two tenths and five tenths, and I can see that five tenths is greater than two tenths. Okay, and my last example for today, start in my ones place. They are both zeros. Go to my tenths place. Remember, don't look at this. This is not a 3 and a 29. Okay, it's not a 3 and a 29. I have to take it one place value at a time. I have 3 tenths and 2 tenths. And 3 tenths is greater than 2 tenths. If I wanted this number to show his hundredths place value, he would have a zero there, okay? So I could read that as 30 hundredths and 29 hundredths, okay? So that's a pretty straightforward lesson today with comparing decimals.